finally. This is our second time back screening since third. getting the bobcat, or third, third time. Three getting the, one day. It was wet forever. And then, Three. finally, I was over there taking a break. He's already over. Look, he already, look how much dirty moved. And I come over and I'm like, oh, there's an arrowhead laying right there on my screen, <laughs> top of my pile. Yep, I just wasn't looking. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Congratulations, Brooksy. Thank you. You needed a Snickers. Yes, I did. That was <laughs> it right there. There's a girl. Look, they found him Snickers. Somebody say she's ugly. <laughs> Shame on you people. Good girls. Her needs her eyes cleaned. Well, we found one. I found one now, too. We're about not even five minutes apart. Oh, hey. That looks. Check that little guy out. It's got a kind of a crooked Dandy. face on the bottom, but I don't yeah. think that's broke. No. No, that's a nice looking point. Hey, hey, hey. About time. We's about to wear out and get the skunk. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. There might be another one here. She always does that every time Mike finds one. <laughs> <laughs> Watch oh, out. Well, that's a pretty little guy. Yeah. Boy, it's a short one for up here. It is. And I highly doubt it's a rice side shallow it's a nice knot. <laughs> or that'd be the only woodland point for that's twenty a, some acres so far. That's a nice, nice made one too. Made a little better than rice's. Well, get her cleaned up. Some pictures. Of good look at the flaking. Definitely don't look woodland. There's never been a rice up here out of at least probably 16 acres excavated all together, a complete site. Well, Mike and I are on a pretty good roll for us. He is anyways. I got Check one. that baby out. That's nice. That's a pretty one. Got all five of its points there. You just wonder. How people miss stuff like that? But yeah. thank gosh they did. Oh man. Make for good days, doesn't it, Jersey? Look at sticks. Which one would you rather have, stick or point, Jersey? <laughs> she wants a stick. Yeah. Out doing a little surface hunting. Look at this thing sticking out. Oh, it's got some pressure on it, too. Oh, look at that. It's all there. Well, it's got just old, the old tip damage. But otherwise, it's all there. I have to get that cleaned up and show it again. Well, point number two. Look at this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Six days in a row for him. Six days in a row for me for nothing. What about my needs? What, what about Brooksy's needs? What about my needs? It's got a little rounded tip on it. Not a needle tip, but no, it's broke. That's ugly. <laughs> that thing <laughs> is so ugly. I'm throwing that away. She's something else when it comes in trees. Michael Son just did it. He's always finding well, all the best arrows. Tomorrow is officially my birthday. 51. And just pulled that blade out. It was just right here. And I was just sweeping stuff out. And That's beautiful. Whammo. Look at that. That is a killer. Yes, it is. That's nice. Dang. Awesome possum. Is that right, Jersey? About time. Yeah, it is. Worked hard for that. <laughs> We've been up here a dozen times with nothing. Yeah. There no damage. Right. That's what I like. Oops, I'm shaky. This wisteria. The Japanese, like bluish wisteria. This stuff grows for like a 150 feet. Probably like 75 feet that way and 75 feet down that way to another corner. It always smells awesome this time of year.
it is, uh, yeah, May 16th, Sunday. It's been a slow year. Next Saturday is show day, and the weather's looking with a smaller chance of rain, so that's even better. It's going to be an awesome crowd this year. Oh, uh, let's see, where do I even begin? I didn't get to make any, really any mushroom videos. It's just been a really pooterish year on morels around us lately. I did pick over 300 again, like last year, but only really had one good day. But, a lot of places I uh, pick morels, <laughs> there's always a spring somewhere close by. So there's always some prehistoric life left behind that was one day that little birdie in that point and then these were from another day and actually this here's like a little bitty edge sorry i'm in the shade the sun's way over there might make it hard to see some of these artifacts good uh, uh. But this was the cool piece from that spot. Even though it's broke, it's still a Dalton. So that may mean there'd be a whole Dalton come from there one year. And it did have this pretty nice edge from a DH site. Got the classic bull nose in. Uniface on one side. The ground and the butt. And on the edges. I look a little different out there in the sun. I just I got so much to do. <laughs> Broke. Had a lot of days of nothing. We've been on a lot of dirt lately. That's just been a lot of days with nothing. Or Richard finds something, I don't find nothing, both don't find nothing. This was from one day after doing, after some rain, doing a little surface hunting. This thing. It's all beat to death and old. It's all old damage on everything. You can see all the mineral deposits on that side. Just as much as you do the face, that would have been a really nice quartzite piece. Here's a little interesting piece of chert. Most definitely were probably natural fracture lines. Both spots where it broke when they were making it into a preform. By face. And this here is really cool. To make sure I get in the sun, or you can see this, you can see the pit that it started. And then this top side is really all nicely worked over. And it's really a high quality piece of chert. It's a chert nodule, which right here you can tell they were already beaten on other rocks so they were working it there but then they have that a little bit broke off and nothing on this side worked it's just like i shown in a post here a while back these types of late archaic sites especially in missouri or even any where in missouri for that matter one of their tools that a lot of people disregard is a square piece of sandstone same thing they use as a platform grinder to doing something like this working over a chirp piece of nodule if you go watch my hammerstone video from a couple years ago i show one in there that's been highly worked over really nice wow we're already running on five minutes sorry folks i right, want to give you a 10 minute cleanup but there's always good stuff to show and talk about just a lot of people skip this part and that's okay uh let's see this was march 8th i believe four days after the last time i posted a hunting video that's terrible ain't it and actually i was taking my little lunch and a break and 
Richard loaded the screens and this laid on top while I was sitting over there and he never noticed it on his screen or it had even the dirt had started to dry out on it. It's a pretty nice Etley. Then this little doodad screened out up there like you saw on film. Looks like a dang rice, but the sun's really not in the best position to show the flake scar ridges really well. But we really don't think it's a rice. Richard found one that was a little bit longer. We just, they're ground in the bottom. And rice ain't supposed to be. Whatever they are, they were just severely sharpened up. Definitely later, late archaic by the flaking on it. It's just it would be really strange for a rice to be up there. Then surface hunting in the beginning of mushroom season after a good rain. Went up there and pulled this out. Just a little tiny tip. I meant tip, tip missing. What's cool about this old Nebo Hill is it's banded Jeff City Church court site. Banded quartzite. If I can get a good close up. Quartzite is like a bunch of tiny little spheres. And all different sizes. But they're embedded inside of another matrix. And. Then this killer. Come along. Mm, that's a shame. I can't show the flaking on this I just got other stuff to do <laughs> got a lot of stuff to do and it's been raining a bunch leaving it I haven't had a sunny day to film but I will share a picture of you with this I was actually just about 20 yards away in a different spot of my yard in the evening time taking pictures of it and it basically like this and this little hummingbird just flew and landed right on my index finger had a bunch of haters, <laughs> not a bunch, a couple, wanted to say it was Photoshop, but you'll see by the shadow from the hummingbird over my hand in the blade that, that that's impossible to Photoshop. I don't care how good a person is, unless you're like digitally making it, the shadow that is, and I would still see that be kind of hard, but who knows, not for me. Anyways, it's a killer, and it's definitely old. I called it a Dalton Contemporary Blade, because there's no basil end cut into it. Same with that there, I found other creek. That's 2021 so far. Well, that was right there at Christmas in 2012, so, or 2020, I mean. It's been a slow go. Like I said, lots of brokes, and actually I got... A box of brooks I had to take in because the other day I had to plant all my elephant ears. They're scattered all about. But anywho, I won't bore you anymore. Uh, hopefully I get someone that's going to record the show for me. A couple people said that they were coming. They might try. Being one of the hosts of the show along with Richard, we're just too busy doing all kinds of things to record it so hope everybody has a great week and uh if you get to make it we'll be looking forward to it later <laughs>